Hi, uh, in this video I'm gonna talk about the uh, particle filter. Uh, I have seen many pseudocode for the algorithm and uh, actually none of them gave me good insight for the understanding it, so I decided to uh, implement it for a real world problem. <coughs> I have implemented uh, a Python code for uh, robot localization based on the particle filter. So our problem is a localization problem. That means we have the map, but we don't know where are we. So we try to uh, locate ourselves on the map. So this is my setup. <clears throat> I have a, a map like this. This is my environment. I have a bunch of landmarks that I can uh, uniquely identify them. And this is my robot. I can uh, move the robot with uh, the mouse. Uh, so please have a look at my uh, code uh, to see set up and understand it better okay so like any step in the uh, particle filter we create n samples uh, the state that we try to track is uh, uh, x and y because we try to localize the data mm, localize the robot sorry and, and and at the beginning we don't know where are we exactly we might be anywhere on this setup so we use the uniform distribution and we create n samples also we don't know uh, which one is more closer to the robot so the weight gonna be uh, equal and the sum should be always one so one over n gonna be weight for every uh, particle so we go to the main loop in the main loop uh, we uh, move the robot with mouse and what we get from that is the distance and the orientation that we have moved the robot for instance if i go down like this I will get a minus 90 degree and like a five like five pixels okay then uh, based on this I will move every particle based on the uh, distance and the orientation that I've acquired so this is exactly the prediction step this is exactly what we do also in the uh, column filter so I move every uh, particles based on that then uh, I will uh, acquire some data and I will update like if I move here then uh, I assume that I have a range of scanner on top of my robot so I can uh, find the distance between the robot and each one of these landmarks and I, as I said I can uniquely identify them so I exactly know which one is landmark number one which one is number two three and four okay so now I have to update the weights based on the uh, measurement data i have to give higher weight to the particles like number particle number one which was closer to the robot rather than the uh, p2 which was far away because we're gonna somehow uh, get rid of them and uh, get higher weight to the to, to the particles that are closer to the actual robot state so how do we do the uh, update for the weights Okay, imagine uh, this is uh, uh, okay. This is our update function. We first we assign uh, weight one to all of them. Then uh, for every landmark that we have in my, our set of landmarks, we uh, compute the distance between our particle and our landmark. Okay. Then. Uh, uh, let's say uh, this is a distance for uh, one of our particles from the landmark number one okay so let's say uh, this is a p1 uh, and, the di and the distance from the particle number one and because we have some uncertainty we have a, a, a Gaussian distribution like this uh, the mean gonna be the value that we just uh, read from computed from here and let's say this is like one meters away from that. Uh, this is the uh, actual measurement, like one meters and a half. Okay, so uh, if these two are pretty close, it means our particles is very close to the actual real robot state. The value that we get for the weight should be higher. And as you can see, uh, if we get closer to the uh, 
if these two get closer this value is going to get higher and higher and if we go further it's going to be smaller so for a, a p2 we can see uh, it's going to be like eight or nine meters away so our uh, it's going to be much further away from the zi so the value is going to be much smaller <coughs> okay so we uh, repeat this uh, for every particle and for every landmark and we multiply the weight that we get from first second third and fourth landmark uh, we multiply them and we get a w for every particle this is what i'm exactly doing here i'm uh, putting it in the uh, we, we know that we can get this uh, uh, curve with a pdf of Gaussian distribution so we have the uh, uncertainty and we have the uh, distance that we just computed here and also we have the real measurements that i for the first landmark for instance and we get a w and we, we multiply uh, for uh, every landmark and then uh, the w should be uh, the sum should be one so we uh, normalize it we sum it up and we divide everything by w so now after this step those particles like p1 that uh, were closer to the real robot state they have a bigger w in comparison with uh, p2 and we have many of them like uh, hundreds of thousands of them okay now we want to uh, go to resampling step in the resampling actually what we do is uh, we draw sample based on the importance or based on the weight it means uh, those particles that have a uh, higher weight should be uh, 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 taken from our samples with a higher chance how do we do that uh, we put all the uh, particles here based on the weight so as you can see uh, some of them they have a higher weight some of them have a smaller and the sum should be one so this is zero and this is one so if we take n samples based on the uh, uniform distribution between 0 and 1 as you can see there's a higher chance that uh, we take uh, uh, this particle or this particle in comparison with this one so after this draw we're gonna have a new set of uh, particles which this one has been repeated many times this one also many times but those that have uh, smaller weights those that are actually far away from the real robot state they're gonna be uh, almost vanished from our selection so this is uh, uh, this is the main idea but how do we do that if, if we do it like this it's gonna be a little bit computational expensive we have to draw n samples and we have to see where do they land and then uh, uh, one uh, alternative uh, schema is uh, we make some n partitions between 0 and 1 and then between 0 and 1 we take uh, one sample and uh, to see where do this uh, fall so for instance you can see here it falls here here it falls here and again uh, those with the higher weights going to be chosen more and more like for instance if I uh, have another sample here you can see there's a higher chance that it's going to be here because it's a larger area so uh, that's another scheme but again this is computationally expensive because we have to do it many times for every particle so that's the other scheme is uh, the other approach is we took n uh, we make n partitions here and we only select one a random value and then we will add it to each uh, partition like this so let's say this is uh, uh, this value we have drawn this value so we will add this one here 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 and then we choose those particles that this uh, red dot has been fallen into so we can do it actually in one iteration it's pretty fast in comparison with these two so we often use this one okay so after this step uh, particles around the real robot is still going to be chosen more and more and we're going to repeat it again we're going to move the robot then uh, we're going to uh, add some noise after the moving because 
moving is always with some uncertainty we do some measurements updates and we're gonna uh, repeat it again so uh, please have a look at my uh, python code uh, give you a better insight and thank you